Okay, Pallavi, let's actually then talk about, I know, obviously, right now you're doing a lot of thinking, but you had mentioned before you're working on a book. So tell us a little yeah. bit about it. And first of all, where did the idea come? Like, why were you like, I need to write a book? I think it happened while I was in Bombay. Like, I knew I was always a writer. Um, maybe it's my nerdy background. You know, I studied law and media and, you know, I was trained to be a journalist and, I had, I had an experience that you might relate to of being told that I was too brown to work in the media in Australia, uh, which is actually one of the reasons that I was like, well, I'm just going to go follow this childhood dream then. Um, <laughs> like, let's just do the other impossible thing. So I, <laughs> I, I like you make it I, tough for yourself. You, you never had an easy choice available. You're like media as the yeah. one brown girl or a yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And so this is, these are the conundrums. This is the reason I'm writing the book because um, it, it's it's very in line with the conversations we've had. Um, delving deeper, it's very much uh, a, a part of my psyche. Um, it's told in the first person and it is talking about what it is to grow up in a cross-cultural environment in a country like Australia as a child and then choose to go and work in the world's largest culture industry as an outsider, and then come back to the country of your birth as an outsider yet again. Um, and these very dilemmas that we encounter, because I think they're invisible to a lot of people. Uh, I think that these are the thoughts and the, the inner workings of, you know, someone with minority consciousness that often don't get spelt out you know, a lot, we talk about Black Lives Matter, we're talking about a lot of these things, especially with Me Too, and you look at survivors of those things, you look at the victims of, of, of race, hate crimes, and we never get to hear, I mean, not, I'm not victimizing myself in that way, but I'm saying we never get to really hear about, or if we, okay, let's put it this way, if we do get to hear about it, maybe not enough people listen about the inner workings of being on the other side. So I was kind of getting a bit tired of people just being like, really? Oh, really? You felt that way? You know, like when I would say it was tough growing up in Australia. So I thought, well, what better way to, to talk about it than to talk about it? You know, the power of language is, is, has been a really interesting rediscovery through writing the book. Um, and I'm looking forward to, to sharing it. 